So I found this pattern here in a magazine and I scanned it in and sized it up and printed it out. So that's what I get and I'm going to cut out all the pieces. Here are all the pieces we need for this dress for the dolls and I found this fabric that I liked and I'm going to use that for it. I'm going to leave a link in the info box below for the pattern that I made of it. And here I am just placing all my pieces of, of the pattern on the right side of the fabric and cutting all the fabric uh, pieces out. So this is the front piece and it has this little triangle or cut in at the, the breast height. And I'm not going to cut it out, I'm just going to put a needle on the back side of it where this little triangle are and I'm going to sew it so that it looks like I cut and sewed it. I always do a few stitches around the edge where I start before I'm sewing down the line and then I'm going to use a back stitch here and in the other end I am going to sew a few stitches around the edge again and then I am going to make this side and the other side Then I place the front piece like you see here and place the sleeves just like here and I'm just going to unpin both of these sleeves. Then I take the sleeve and I connect it from the neckline and down to the uh, under the arm thing like you see me do here and then I am going to sew this seam together. You can do that in your hand or on the machine, whatever you prefer. Then I am going to sew the other sleeve on as well, just like this one. Then I take the back side and I am going to connect the sleeves to the back side here. Remember good side to good side. So I line them up like I show here and I sew that. And I do that on the other side as well, like this. And I'm going to sew that. So now we are concentrating about the sleeves. I am going to make this little place here for an elastic. Uh, so I am placing the elastic and then making sure that I know where to sew. So I have this little piece for the elastic. I'm going to do this on both sleeves uh, and I am using a back stitch uh, stitching here. But as always, I start with these small stitches around the edge.
Then there is this tiny strap here. This is just a tiny piece of uh, fabric and I'm just pinning it down and sewing the edge here together. And I'm doing that with the stitch that I'm showing here. I don't know the real name for it. Doing that all the way down and then turn it inside out. That was a bit tricky, but it's uh, possible. I'm folding this little piece on the middle so that it is making a loop in one end. And I'm looking at the paper here to see exactly where to put it. And I am marking it with a needle. so that I can place it like this before I sew this side seam together. Then I took a piece of string, made a knot on it and used this small safety pin to place it through the sleeve here and I'm putting it through two times. Uh, you can do it with a tiny elastic band as well but I didn't have anything that was small enough so I just used a string. Then I'm just going to tighten it around my finger because I know that that would be perfect for my doll's arms and I'm securing it with a double knot. Cutting off the excess and trying to get the knot to disappear into this uh, sleeve here so you don't see it. And then I'm just going to place it nice so I can sew over the connection of the sleeves here. Now I'm sewing from the sleeve and all the way down the side of the dress. And I always start with a few stitches around the edge of the fabric and I always end up with a few stitches around the fabric. But you can do this as you want to. Just make sure you sew from the sleeve to the bottom of the dress. Make sure the strap is uh, sewed really really good in there. Now I'm making the other side ready to be sewn and I'm going to sew that just like we did with the other side, just without the strap. Remember to put the elastic into the sleeve as well, or the string, whatever you use. Do that before you sew it together. The neckline I am pinning down a little on the back side and then I'm going to sew all the way around it. But you could uh, cut out a piece of fabric and then sew it on this neckline here, uh, the good side to the good side and then turn it around. You will get a very nice opening that way. This neckline is very open so you could sew in a other piece of fabric as a little rib there. It could be really nice as well. Just remember you need to be able to pull this little dress either over the head or up the body while putting it on the doll. So that was the neckline, it turned out really nice as you see here. Now I am going to do the exact same thing here on the bottom line 
of the dress first I am turning the fabric over a bit on the back side and pinning it down then I am going to sew it again with a back stitch So that was it for the dress itself that's now finished. Now we are going to uh, make this little belt for around the waist. So I'm placing it doubled, good side to good side, and pinning it down. I'm going to sew it from the middle here and to one of the sides. And I'm doing that with the stitch that you see here. Then I am sewing from the other end until a little before the place where I started this first end so that I have a little gap where I can pull the fabric so I can turn this inside out. I secured the place where I ended this side so that it won't go up when I am turning it inside out. I'm turning both ends inside out and then I'm sewing the little gap in the middle together so it's not open anymore but nicely closed. That leaves me with this belt that I can put through the hoop in the dress, put it around the dress and tie a knot. Now you just go fit it on your doll and see how it looks. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.